Atlantis is not so easily destroyed. No, my death is just the beginning. We must find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! It is finally over, my dear. The Ancients' plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time, and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the Ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This Ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality. To see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool. And so it comes to pass. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zelotath. The madness of Zelotath has overcome the power of Uliath. The boundless Uliath has decimated the power of Chaturga. All at once, separate and simultaneous, for the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients, chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Roivas family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the Ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other, resulting in their mutual annihilation. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb. Plotting. 